guys, my name is Jessica and welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm gonna try and get to this review <laughs> as quick as possible because season two of This Is Us is premiering and it's my first time like watching it as it airs and blah blah blah. If this is your first time seeing my face, I've already reviewed American Horror Story Cult episode one, two, and three. They're in the cards and in the playlist that's linked down below. Let's just jump right on to this episode, episode four, which was titled November 9th. All right, so the log line of this episode is the focus shifts. This starts with election night where we meet all of our main characters we already know or well, we don't meet them, but we see them um, lining up outside of the polls. And this whole episode is basically following Kai played by Evan Peters and what he has been up to during the aftermath of the election results. We see Kai's uh, connections with Harrison and Meadow, with Beverly, a little bit more with Winter and Gary, who is the cashier from episode one. He is missing a hand. Now, I'm going to admit in episode one, when uh, Allie comes in in the cashier, you know, raises his arm and he's missing a hand, I thought that was part of something that she was hallucinating because there were clowns around them so I didn't really give that part much thought but he as we see in this episode he's indeed missing his hand and he's also played by Chaz Bono I didn't know that either this episode I <laughs> I just I, I really liked this episode I don't even know where to begin what to talk about. I mean, if you're watching this, I assume you saw the episode, so you know what happened. So I kind of just want to go out my standout scenes, or... Alright, we'll just briefly keep talking about the episode. How it's election, we see how Kai meets Harrison. Um, Meadow and Harrison are losing their house, and this is how I believe how the Chings are going to get murdered, because it's going to open a spot on the council board for... Kai to go run for council and it's his way of keeping Meadow and Harrison closer to him and how he Kai states that he is going to love you once you're like in his group you're in his group and he'll he's gonna kill for you and I thought that was just a metaphor <laughs> in life I'm sure it's a metaphor but um this was very much real uh we see Kai draw the symbol and I, I'm sure everyone knew Kai and his gang is behind the clowns and everything. But to see Kai draw the symbol when he's talking to uh, Harrison, it, it was just, that was an awesome moment. I <laughs> just, you know, he's just casually drawing it on the steam door. There's just, there was so, so much in this episode that I really liked. Now, it wasn't, it was new information. It was more just like, backstory on the characters we kind of already know. So this episode also goes, you know, jumps ahead to December 2016 with Beverly reporting on the body and then with the whole grabbing by the pussy. I liked how they incorporated that in there. And then we finally see Emma Roberts in this uh, episode. We've been hearing that Emma Roberts was going to come back. Uh, well, she's gone now. <laughs> Spoiler alert. She's Serena. This, you know, this... You know, those young people. <laughs> the young reporters that are, like, threatening the more experienced uh, jobs because she just sucks her dick and gets... Sucks <laughs> everyone's dicks to get her ways. And Kai learns about Beverly. Then he learns about Serena. And an, another scene that really stood out to me that I really liked was when Emma Roberts was uh, reporting on adoption for the puppies and then we see a clown starts walking behind her and then another and then another and then she gets killed and I liked that they, they didn't kill the puppy. <laughs> so that's, um, I don't know, I just, it, it, that scene felt more creepy to me and also I don't know why the news reporter didn't say anything when he saw one clown already in frame and ruining their shot and everything. So it's obviously Kai who set up the murder for Serena and then when Beverly has to report on that she after she goes to Kai she's like I'm with you. We're together and everything. 
And, and then it jumps again. It goes back to the day before. So this episode wraps around. And it's with Allie and Ivy. And Ivy is stating the reasons why she doesn't belong, uh, she doesn't believe in Hillary Clinton, even though Ivy completely believes that Allie's gonna vote for Hillary Clinton, she doesn't. So Ivy goes to this rally, and Winter, I had no, I didn't even suspect for a moment that Allie and Winter would have had slight history with basically gaining up on Gary the cashier and handcuffing him because Gary you know, grabbed Ivy. And how it ends is when Gary saws off his own hand and Kai's just standing there and watching. And I thought that was an odd place to end, but then my sister's like, well, they wrapped around the whole episode because in the next scene is the election, um, the polls. My standout scenes was the opening. The opening. I loved seeing... All right, so... First, I love it just in movies and TV shows in general when a main character like meets another character and apparently, oh, they've already been in the same time, same place before and I like seeing that, if that makes any sense. So I really liked the opening with the election, with the reporter. We see, you know, Ivy and Allie and then we see Winter and they're just all same place, same time, of course. And I loved how we got to see inside of their booths when they're voting. Even though we knew who they were voting for, it was just, I don't know, nice to see their emotion and kind of what was going through their minds when they were feeling messily, I might add, filling in that bubble. And also, when it comes to TV and movie, something that always, always speaks to me and gets to me is the music, the score that is playing, that's like, you know that's playing in the scene and so the music during when everyone was casting their votes especially when it was Ivy and Allie it, it just the music was awesome so if you can go back and watch that scene watch and just listen to the score of that okay and then another standout scene for me was Ivy and Winter just mostly just because it was the shock that oh they have met before and now I guess we kind of see maybe Ivy remembers Winter and that is why she's keeping Winter as a babysitter for some re for still some reason just I guess because they have a history together or something and then really the last thing I've seen was really just every scene with Kai they did this episode so well and it I liked it because it was more revealing about the characters. I felt like we got to know Kai a little bit more. Not completely, but we saw more of what he's about and how he totally embodies like this kind of Charles Manson-esque about him. How he can easily control and convince and manipulate people but make them feel so comforted at the same time in like their own little family, hence the cult. Even though it was pretty election heavy and politic heavy again, I liked seeing this side of it more and I think I'm growing more used to seeing the politics and our reality in the show. And I just, I liked how it was handled. I like how it seems like they are not, they're not biased on either side. And I didn't think they would be mostly because Ryan Murphy, when he did um, OJ, uh, Simpson versus the people or the people versus OJ he wasn't biased on either side of that either overall I really liked this episode I know some people are probably thinking like well you didn't like the first one basically because it was heavily political and too much like reality right now and yeah I'll give you that but I feel like I really liked this one because of the characters I Overall, in any show, any movie, I you sucker me in by what by the characters. Like the plot is, you know, the plot matters, of course, but you're not really gonna care about the plot unless you care about those characters. So, but like this episode, even though it was again a little bit political heavy, too much reality, blah blah blah. I thought they did a really really good job with it and following Kai and getting to know Kai just a little bit more and the connections he has with Harrison and Meadow and Beverly and Gary and a little bit more with Winter. 
I just, I always love seeing reveals of characters, and this episode definitely did that. So I give this episode an 8 out of 10. Highest scoring episode. Yes. <laughs> just felt more character centered than on the election itself. Where I guess when I watched the first episode, it felt more election. And, and it was also the first episode. Like, I didn't know what I was gonna, I kind of knew what I was gonna walk into, but I didn't know how they were going to handle it or anything like that. And maybe since after the first episode, I will be getting used to the politics and how too close for home it is with reality and everything. But again, I did really like this episode. So let me know your thoughts down below, how you're feeling about this season, about this episode, what you predict is going to happen next. I feel like judging by the commercial for next week, I feel like they might keep on keeping on with Kai and Beverly and Meadow and Gary and we kind of see more of their side as well. And it's always great to just refreshing to have a new perspective from different like different characters point of view other than just uh Allie's and Ivy's and yeah that's it for me I gotta go watch This Is Us which I'm excited about and I'm gonna cry so uh if you have any questions because I know I probably don't cover as much as someone might want me to cover in this episode I mean literally I get done watching that episode I take notes during the episode and I come in here and I film like, this is kind of the only time I have to film to get it up in time and then after the episode and blah, blah, blah. So I'm happy. I always answer back to questions. So make sure you check back on those comments because YouTube might not say if I commented back or not. And I can assure you I probably did. Thanks so, so much for watching. Remember to love others. But first and foremost, always love yourself because you're beautiful no matter what anyone else says.